Man, look at that new intro we just had. That was nice. Ooh, we're we're like we're fancy. We have a show opening. Woohoo! Hey. <laughs> Honestly, Welcome, everybody, and uh, thank you so very much for joining us on this Monday evening. Um, we know you could be watching basketball, but, you know, you've got the better show here with us. So thank you. Th well, at least you got a different show. Maybe you're doing like a screen and screen type of thing, um, you know, but what whatever works. We, we definitely appreciate you for uh, taking some time out of your schedule to be able to join us tonight. So I, I do appreciate that. Uh, we think we've got some of those Internet issues fixed up. If, if it freezes, just kind of bear with us. Um, we'll yell for John and he'll, he'll come back and fix it hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, we've got five awesome topics that we're going to be talking at, talking about tonight and, uh, Shaney, Dan, hi, hi, <laughs> why don't you take it away? Let's, let's, let, let's light it up tonight with number one. All right. Number one. And I am, um, I think Howie's going to get excited about this. Number one is a queen inspired musical. So as we know, I mean, if you have not seen the movie, go see the movie. But because the movie was such a success, they're now doing a whole musical inspired by the Queen music. So, and they're, and it's starting in North America. So it's not like one of those musicals where they're going to like start in Europe and then I'll come here or it's like a, on a test run or something. So it's going to be called We Will Rock You. It's going to, they, here's, here's a weird thing. They're, they're, um, casting it right now but they already have the dates <laughs> to buy your tickets so they're hoping that it's going to be a huge success going on on the movie so it's going to open in canada first september 3rd um but they have the dates and everything so if you guys look it up um they're already on sale for canada in the u.s and it's called we will rock you so it's, they haven't really said too much about it, except that, again, it's just the music inspired by Queen. So it's not going to be like the whole life story and things like that. I think it's going to be more of like a rocket man type, type, you know, musical type thing. So that'll be kind of cool. See what happens with that one. So definitely. So we're talking traveling, traveling musical. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This will. Yeah. So this is not one of the ones that are just going to start like, like Hamilton that just started in like and then it was there for like six months before they did like a touring one this definitely is a touring um musical okay when when is the you said september september 3rd is the uh it starts in canada okay. so it's going to start there first and then and then i'm assuming work its way down <laughs> side over <laughs> cutty corner maybe diagonal uh yeah. It, it sounds interesting. I, yeah. I'm a little, I think I'm a little concerned or maybe a little put off by the fact that it might just be music. Um, I mean, not because, because, you know, the movie, I think the movie was so great, not just because it was focused on the music, but because you got all the story that goes with it. Yeah. So to kind of just say, okay, now we're just going to present something based on the music. Yeah. I feel like it's lacking. But it could be. Yeah, like um, what's his? I forgot the other musical. They did the movie. Um, Tom Cruise play the rock star. Um, oh, the chat room can help me out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be more kind of like that of like the rock and roll lifestyle. I don't know. We'll see. We'll 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 see. Um, we'll see what happens. So I don't know. We'll rock of Ages. Happens. That was the rock of Ages. Yeah, Rock of Ages was. So I don't know if it's going to be kind of like something like that or i don't know because they, they're not saying they're following the story of queen it's the from the it's about the music okay we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see the ratings and see what happens not rushing to buy my tickets yet yeah no no, no. i'm a musical person but I'm, I'm i'm waiting to hear some reviews yeah. first not that i'll come like anywhere near me but you know hey <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it might come to the small theaters now. We don't know. <laughs> That's true. Depending on, depending on what we get. Uh, all right. Number two. Number two. So number two are some iconic um, artists that are doing some tours. One of them we always joke around about. And we talk about her comeback <laughs> tour all the time. So I figure I just talk about her for, for a couple of seconds. Um, but... 
Cher decided to add some more dates. No to way. Her, to her tour. It's, she's not ending it yet. So I know we talked about after the Mamma Mia 2 movie came out. And I talked about how it was such a success with her and her singing in it and everything. So she personally just decided on her own, you know what? I'm going to go on tour. And I'm going to sing songs from Mamma Mia and things like that. So this tour has been going on. It's called the Here We Go Again Tour. And she decided to add 14 more dates to it, which might then turn into 28, which might then turn into 36. I don't know. So if you really have not seen Sharon kept saying that whenever she does her comeback tours, um, you're going to go see it. Here is your chance now because she added some dates. And this is kind of cool. Um, on this tour now, she has Nile Rogers and um, Chick performing as special guests on her tour. So you kind of get that whole like 70s funk, good times type feel on her tour. So she has all of them on her tour. And I know this, this is actually her first tour, her first US tour in five years. Okay, so it really is a comeback. I know we always talk about like like her final her final tour and, and things like that, but yes. So this is um yeah, so this is her first US tour in more than five years. So if you like I said, you've always joked around like, oh, we should get tickets, we should get check tickets. Check it out because she added added some dates to that. So Cher is staying on tour. And another icon who actually announced a world tour is Celine Dion. Ooh. So she decided that she wants to go on tour and she also has a new album that's going to be coming out as well. So for those that don't know, she has been in Las Vegas for 17 years. I didn't realize it was 17 years. Wow. I didn't either. She, yeah. She's been at Caesars. Hey, yeah. Works, like right? I thought maybe like eight years, nine years. Yeah. Like that's kind of like what I had in my head. Yeah. She's been at Caesars for 17 years. So she's got about maybe 25 shows left. Um, of her residency. And I guess she decided that now that her kids really are older and they really can like take care of themselves and everything. Um, she just wants to do like a world tour right now. And she wants to get back to making some new music and things like that. So the, um, the world tour is called courage. Um, she hasn't really talked much about the album. She just said that she is definitely going to have a new album that's coming out. And be, and um, she said that, that she's really excited. So she's going to start the world tour in her hometown of Quebec City. And then she's going to go from there. And that is a September start. So she's going to take like a little break. Maybe that's when she's going to work on the album before she does the tour. So if you always wanted to see her and you didn't get to bless you, you didn't get to see her the last 17 years in Vegas, um, she's also going on tour. So you can do um, you can do a Cher or a Celine Dion iconic tour. Definitely. Yeah. Or or maybe you could look out and they'd be like nearby each other. Close enough you could like Am I matrix glitching? That's it. Oh, am I matrix glitching? Are we still having glitches? I, I think so. Let us know. I, I mean, so. if I yeah, am, I'll kind of. We're just getting uh, like we're things. like kind of fuzzy. We're not really clear tonight. Okay, I'll do like a neo move next time. They kind of say I, I matrix glitch. So yeah, so let us know for <laughs> matrix glitching. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, so um, really, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool, Dan. Um, the Eagles. Okay. Now, I actually had to look this up because I was like, mm, this can't be true. But it is. So the Eagles will, will perform their 1976 Hotel California album in its entirely for the very first time. I know. <laughs> They've never performed the whole entire album, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So they decided that they want to do the whole entire album and make like a big deal about it. And of course, guess where they're going to perform this at? In what city? Uh, Tampa. You are not right. <laughs> yeah. So again, if you guys want to um, 
get those tickets to Vegas and just see a whole bunch of artists. You could probably do that as I've been talking every single week about somebody performing in Vegas as a residency. This isn't a residency. They're just going to be in Vegas September 27th and 28th. They're going to be at the Grand Garden Arena, which is the big the big arena that they, they built and everything. And there's uh, tickets go on sale April 12th. So you definitely, if you, is something you guys want to do, you definitely can be in the lookout now that I gave you guys ahead time of these tickets. So it's going to be Don Henley. Um, it's going to be Joe Walsh. It's going to be Timothy B. Schmidt. And then they're also going to be joined by Deacon Fry and Vince Gill. Now I had to look up if there was like, if it's Vince Gill, Vince Gill, or like, I didn't know that they had somebody in the band, but with the name Vince yeah. Gill, but it's actually Vince Gill. So um, Deacon Fry is Glenn Fry's um, son. Uh huh. So I guess, I guess he's musically inclined and kind of took over everything. So after his father passed away in 2016, he kind of has been jamming out with the group. So, um, so he's there and then, and then Ben Gill. So it, I didn't get the Ben Gill thing, but that's cool. So it's, it's going to be a two night performance only. And like I said, they are just doing the whole entire hotel California album from start to finish. So I wonder if, you know, back in the day when this, when the album came out, they were like, you know what? I really don't like track number eight. We're just, we're just going to skip that in the concert. You know, uh, let, let, let's let's get rid of number 10. It, it's a little long. I'm not feeling number three today. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, first time they, first time yeah. they played. The whole, the whole, but if you think about it, I mean, honestly, you know, think of some artists that have all these albums and when they go in, in concert, they just kind of play their greatest hits that the yeah. fans love or the fan favorites or their favorites from albums. So, I mean, I can even say, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge, you know, Prince fan. I've seen him in concert. I've seen Michael Jackson in concert when I was younger. I've never seen them do the whole entire albums. You know, I've seen like, Oh, this song was from this, the songs from that, that song. So if you think about it for those that have actually been to concerts, unless, you know, the artist is just a one album type of group then maybe they do it, but I don't know. I don't know why they never, I mean, that was like a huge, like hotel California is the third best selling U S album in history. So you would think <laughs> that they would have performed that whole album, but for whatever reason um, they didn't. So if you guys are really interested in that, I'm sure at that time um, you can go see Cardi B <laughs> <laughs> you can go see um, all the other artists that I have mentioned that are performing and have their residencies in Vegas. And for those that don't know, this past weekend was the weekend that Chaos opened up. So I don't know if any of you guys have seen any of the posts from, from Club Chaos. Dan decided to just jet over there and so, uh, every single opening for like us. 10 hours. On no sleep. He went from the day club to the nightclub to the private performances to, yeah, to all that stuff. So, yeah, so that's the chaos is in the, the artists that are going to be performing there and the artists that are spinning there. That one's going to be a huge, huge spot. But that is not where the Eagles will be at. Just the Eagles will not be there. Eagles is performing at the big arena. So they're, yeah, they're going to, they're going to. Chaos the, isn't big the, enough for yeah, chaos is just small for them. It's just, you know. 8,000, 10,000. Yeah, unless they decided to do just like a, a little remix with like Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> jumping on stage with them or something but hey, yeah i just thought we got, it was we got the little nas and billy ray right we, all all collaborations are off at this yeah. point i'm surprised they're i'm sure they're they're going to be doing like a residency soon in vegas the two of them i don't know we'll see all right yeah uh let's see what do we got next so for my um, Easter people who want something different to, for Easter and but also my music people that are into Easter. You guys can get some purple rain jelly beans that will be released for Easter. Okay. <laughs> so 
can't I just go to the local store and pick up some purple you ones? Can't just now, I know a lot of you are like, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm gonna name drop right here, right here. Can I go get the Brock, you know, and then just pull out the purple ones and put yeah. them in a bowl and be like, here is your purple rain prince. Um, no, it doesn't work that way. I mean, it can if you want to call that like the ghetto version of them. No, the ghetto version is where you just go to and you get the, the dollar store the big bin. <laughs> And you just pick you just out from the big bins. You don't even yes. buy the bag and pick out. You're buying from the yes. big bins. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So Brock is releasing what they are calling the purple rain jelly beans. And the, um, they will have four flavors. So not just one flavor of purple, you have four flavors of purple. So it's kind of like when you say that, you know, what, you know, what flavor are you drinking? You say, I'm drinking grape. I'm drinking red. <laughs> You're like, red is not a flavor, but it's cool. So there's four flavors of purple. There is berry. There is blueberry. There is blue raspberry. And then there's grape. So there's purple, blue, blue, purple. Depending on how bad your cataracts are and your eyes, they might all just be like black to you. I don't know. <laughs> I had no idea. Like, and I'm sure there's no artificial coloring of any. No, of course not. So um, you can buy a three ounce bag of these purple rain jelly beans, or you could buy an 11 ounce bag of the jelly beans. And the reason why they decided to do this this year for those Prince fans is Easter Sunday also falls on April 21st, which is the third anniversary of Prince's death. So they kind of decided to do this whole thing. So yeah, so they are releasing purple rain jelly beans. Now, do they show pictures so you can distinguish between the flavors here as far as, you know, which is grape versus blue raspberry? It's probably just going to be on the bag. You know how like they have on the bag, like they have like the colors and then they say like, this is, and then you like pour it out and you're like, what, 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 which one is this? So I think it's just kind of going to be like the jelly bellies symbol? and you just got to like eat the jelly bellies and, and be like, mm, that's not the one. That's not pink lemonade. That was popcorn. You know, like when you eat those and you're like, this is why I don't like jelly bellies. <laughs> Are they going to put the old Prince symbol on it? That I don't think so, because I think because that's copyrighted. So I think that's more money for them to do something like that. But I know they're doing something on the bag. So I know they're putting like something on the bag. I don't know if they're they might don't don't quote me on what the jelly beans are going to look like if the print symbols on there. I don't know that I can't tell you. But yeah, but I thought that was kind of cool that if you're a big Prince fan or, you know, Purple Rain fan and you could have some some flavored Four flavors, not just flavor, four fla flavors of purple rain jelly beans. Yeah, just not all grape. Yeah, no, no, no. Because you got berry, you got blueberry, you got blue raspberry, and then you have grape. Gotta wonder what the marketing department was thinking of like, huh, what's close enough to purple we could include? <laughs> Lime? No, that's green. <laughs> no, I... I I, I, I'm not a jelly bean, I'm not a jelly bean person. So if you guys are wondering, you know, gift to get me, jelly beans is not it. But <laughs> if you are, that, you know, that sounds cool. And and the fact that they're doing it in the significance of the date, you know, that yeah. that's the cool part. Um, you know, whether it sells them 8,000 of them or whether it's just a cool idea that they came up with either way, it's cool. They're just trying to com com uh, compete with the Cadbury egg, I think, because that's just like tradition, the Cadbury eggs. I don't eat those either. I used to love the chocolate bunnies until I bit into it and knew, and then realized it was hollow. Oh, you buy the hollow ones? I, you mean there's not hollow? Yeah, they're solid ones. Okay, well, nobody bought me a solid bunny. Every bunny I used to get, I was like, I would bite into it. I'm like, oh, this is this is hollow. You could, but, yeah, if they're if they're light, they're the hollow ones. But no, they they make solid ones. Yeah, I never. They're not they're not as they're not as three dimensionally big, but they're still it's it's a it's a hunk. That's what I want. I want the solid one. Yeah. Huh. I don't have good friends. Up. My friends are not good. <laughs> 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 Give me hollow hollow treats. 
<laughs> they could be like, you know, she doesn't really celebrate Easter, so we're just going to give her <laughs> so like, we're going to get her the hollow one, the hollow egg, <laughs> or the hollow bunny. Yeah, yeah exactly. We we'll keep <laughs> half of the chunk for ourselves. All right. So my final um, topic for those that follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, this actually was in my story yesterday. Um, because I uh, went and I actually purchased um, something. So this was like really, really cool. Um, oh, the uh, can, can I delete a message in the uh, chat room? <laughs> Unfortunately, that one we can't because he's also an administrator. <laughs> can you delete? Wait, I just want to see if yeah, I can actually- delete. No, I can report. No, I can't. I can report it, but then it would just get back to just jockey news. He wrote, "No, no, no." <laughs> I can report it, but then it would go to John. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, um, Vans, the shoe company, has um, partnered with the David Bowie Foundation, and they uh, have. They actually, they came out last week and it's called the David Bowie collection, which is like really cool for you guys to like, look this up. I, they have some really, really cool stuff. So the uh, van David Bowie collection will pay tribute to the late rock rock star. And they're taking inspiration from some of his most iconic records and they're putting them on shoes, which I thought was really, really cool. So the collaboration um, actually has already hit stores this past week. So you can get them at select stores or you could actually order them online as well. So there's six different sneakers. Um, So if you are a sneaker head like me, or even if you wear like sneakers to events and things like that, I know a lot of people are doing that and they're wearing like nice dress up type Air Force Ones or Jordans or, you know, this might be a cool pair of sneakers to wear for one of your events and people would seriously talk about them because there's, they're really cool. And some of them are like really, really hot. So check them out. There's six sneakers that they released and there's also some apparel and they even did a little kids line for, for people. So um, like I said, you could buy it in select stores or you can, um, you can see it online and they're really cool if you are a David Bowie fan or even if you're not and you're just like a collector of of music and art and things like that and you didn't want to you know think about the vinyl record from last week (laughs) if you're still thinking about what song you want to put in your will or what sound or what silence if you guys have decided I did get some messages from people and they were hysterical of some of the, some of the songs. I was like, Oh my God, that is an awesome. So I love that some people were, um, were giving me some of, some of the stuff. So that, that was good. So I just wondered if you guys still have thought of your song for your, your vinyl record, but um, those of you who missed out last week, what, what she's talking about is she found a story that after you're dead, you can be cremated and then have your ashes pressed into a vinyl that is playable. And there were some choices as far as songs and stuff like that. Um, but then as certain pops and cracks were you in the, in the vinyl. So um, that's what she's referring to. So for those of you that didn't check it out, if you want the full story, look up last week's show and yeah. watch it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so back, back to, I don't even know how I just got off David Bowie, but, but it's cool. But yeah, so like I said, so it's a collaboration between Vans and David Bowie. And even if you're just interested in just looking at them, like I said, they have some really cool art and some really cool um, sneakers for you guys to, um, to check out. So, so, ch- so check that out. And still, if you have not responded to me about um, what song you uh you want on your vinyl when you pass away let me know because i'm making the list (laughs) nice nice well is there anything else we left out well it sort of but i was putting it i i say it's it's uh john was supposed to watch the show and give us an update i we're gonna blame john on that one (laughs) oh you're funny 
So for those that don't know, the Country Music Awards were this past weekend as in last night. Um, I actually was busy. Like, I didn't, I'm not lying because you guys know last year I did give you guys an update from it. Um, and we put it on John to um, tell us how it went and everything. But, you know, whatever, John has a life, I guess, outside of DJ and TV. I yeah. mean, that's like really like, come on, that excuse. No, I don't. Um, I don't believe it. I mean, let's face it. Somebody's truck died. They put it on blocks. Their dog died on, you know, got hit on a highway. Somebody's girlfriend done someone wrong. Somebody's boyfriend did two of them someone wrong. And they all had a beer. And then the next day was a, you know, a whiskey Wednesday. And that was album of the year. And it was album of the year. <laughs> exactly. You know what? I think we can do one of those albums too. And you know what? If we did it together with a jazz feel, Ooh. we could dominate we do two charts at the same time. Two charts at once. That would be great. Oh, be- so if it could be like a crossover. It could yeah. be. It could be. So yes, an award show did happen um, this Sunday. So if you guys are interested in, che- in checking out, if you play the country music a lot and things like that and see what won, what didn't. So if you have some bar gigs or anything coming up this week and you see that some people are starting to request certain songs because of the award show, um, Go ahead and um, check it out. And just you know, in the chat room, they're—I think they're giving me their songs for their vi- their vinyl. <laughs> and some of these are hysterical. <laughs> some of these are really, really funny. <laughs> well, while we're talking, while we are talking about the the country songs and country yeah. feel and, and that kind of thing, if you haven't heard, um, do yourself a favor. Song. I mean, the, the regular version has been out for a little bit, but on Friday, song dropped, uh, Little Nas and Billy Ray Cyrus. Little Nas X. Oh, see, mine just says Little Nas on the thing. That's why no, his whole name is Little Nas X. Sorry, yeah, Little Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus, um, Old Town Road remix. And it like it just kind of flew through the charts out of nowhere. We haven't got official words on it, but it was just like, it seems like they were talking about everywhere. It was on like, you know, the morning shows and stuff like that where suddenly they're like, hey, this thing came out and it's getting a lot of buzz really quick just because it's a different type of feel, um, especially feel. A very different type of collaboration um, to have that happen. And so check it out. So we'll get yeah. Cause the song back. is actually number, not the remix with Billy Ray, but the, the regular version is actually number one on billboard. What, so it, it definitely um, crossed over. So um, if okay. you, if you go by him, he is a country artist, but it's that rap feel and it's, it's, killing it everywhere so when i say everywhere i even mean like clubs bars private parties everything it'll be interesting to see what happens now with the remix with the billy ray in it um but the song is it's gonna stay hot for for a couple weeks right now I, i definitely see that you know especially since it jumped to number one right now so if you did not hear it come on people this is why you watch our show. We got to tell you guys what what's going on in the in the in the, in the top top uh, five of the music world. We are so, trying to help you out. Yeah, so definitely go to your um your music downloads and your legal sites and and definitely get it if you don't already have it. Yeah. Nice. Um, Day called you out on something. He says, "Wasn't there a bonus from last week that you saved?" There was, but I actually gave you two artists that were going on tour for number two. So there we go. So so day, just deal with it. Day, that was my matrix move. That was. She pulled it off. So I kind of did give you six because I gave you Cher and Celine Dion as two iconic um, artists. And we just gave you, if you didn't already know about the song, we just told you about the hot song right now. So that's actually like seven. Wow. See, we, we always under promise and over deliver here we tell you five and we give you like at least you know six sometimes seven sometimes even more sometimes even more depending on what's happening <laughs> math is hard <laughs> and right now it's april which means that people are going into um prom season and end of the year type school party soon and people are gearing up for their summer events and things like that and the wedding season going crazy so you guys got to stay on that music and you guys got to have i mean you know just because of me of my events and the clubs and stuff i'm updating every week 
So I definitely need to have the, the hottest stuff. So definitely we will keep you guys posted on, on the hotness of everything going on. I'm not going to get into any of the wars of music or artists and things like that, but we'll definitely keep you going on the, the hot stuff. That's we're not here to, to get political and talk about this we're artist. Happy, good, this. Stuff, good stuff. Yeah. We're like, we don't, we're not going to play this because of that. We're not going to play that. Just like now people are saying they're pulling Kodak black off of their, their music lists and things like that so we're not going to get into any of that kind of things and of course so anyway. every thursday um just put the link in the chat uh, DT, oh yeah i was going to say john DT, please charts. good yeah uh, every thursday we we put up a printable chart for those of us who are over 40 the type is just a little bit bigger and it's uh, there's there's a, a uh, billboard top 100 the hot 100 singles u.s singles are up there so this one this week should reflect the song that shaney was just referring to which at 15 but i would have i think it changes tomorrow night or wednesday and then it, I usually have a second chart, which could be the recurrence or one, sometimes it's the top 50. And then in each week, um, IDJ Pool, who sponsors that chart, they put up a, uh, a pick hits for the week. They go through and they find some songs that they would, that would have been put on the Prime Cuts discs. Those songs are, uh, each week they have a little chart with that, so they can keep you up to date. And you can get those out at djntv.com slash charts, where they're all at. Very, very cool. Awesome. Shani, your 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 nails look like robin eggs. Like fly robin, she has eggs. No, 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 your, no, finger your fingers are looking like. <laughs> My fingers look like robin's eggs. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Little pastel blue. cut blue blue eggs. Oh. Yeah, blue blue. Did eggs. robin say that? No, 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 no. Robin, <laughs> I'm eggs. so confused right now. <laughs> the bird, a robin bird, has blue eggs, like blue eggs, like that, and and uh, your oh, okay. Like <laughs> I got like so confused so, right there. So yeah. I'm just gonna do another matrix because I got I yeah, was caught much, in the matrix much. there, That's so I just got like really confused. <laughs> oh. Well, I had to go spring. I want to start you going did. spring because today here in Chicago it was in the 70s, but tomorrow, of course, it might snow. Yeah, so. and <laughs> we're excited because we are in that band that's expecting anywhere from 12 to 12 inches to 36 inches of snow Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So we were 70 today and then it's probably going to like snow this week. So of course everybody in Chicago did that whole like, you know, shorts and flip flops thing. Cause that's what you do. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then everybody, and then everybody gets pneumonia. So it's cool. Yeah, it'll be, <laughs> we'll take us home, Dan. All right. So on that note, thank you very much for tuning in to us tonight. Uh, make sure, of course, that you're checking out the shows that are being released throughout the week. All the good stuff is going to be available for you and dropped to you. If it hasn't been already, we'll be very soon in some emails so that you know exactly what shows you need to check out. And of course, you can always check us out on Facebook, all the details there as well, as well as links to those shows. So you do not miss out in any way, shape or form. The best way to never miss out also is to make sure that you are an insider. So a little plug for that, djntv.com com forward slash insider is i'm telling you the place to be so great show happened earlier before tonight also mike walter guy guy knows what he's talking about especially when it comes to hiring some new talent and uh john was there along with him and he gave excellent tips as well so john kudos i did not give you some props on that earlier but you you did a great job as yep, well thank you so on that note thank you very much for tuning in to us it's been a pleasure but you guys have yourself a great night we'll see you next monday